After 13 years, the Qur'an is basically being memorized. And if you live with oral peoples, people that really uh, still maintain these traditions, and I know Dr. Suleiman Yang, who's from Africa, and, and knows in the West African oral tradition, there are peoples that will recite epic poems of tribes. If they don't ex recite them exactly as they learn them, then they literally lose their job. They can't be a storyteller. So the, the, the Arabs were people that memorized poetry and, and related poetry exactly which come. They had phenomenal memories. And I've lived with the Mauritanians in West Africa whose memories are extraordinary, like the young man who's here with us. Just phenomenal, the amount of uh, information that he retains exactly. Now for people that don't understand this oral tradition, they find it very hard to imagine that a human being can memorize this entire text, the Arabic text, and not make a mistake. Now I can bring that young man here, and I can read the Quran, and I can purposely leave out a verse, and he'll correct me immediately. Now the other thing that's interesting about the Quran is for people who memorize it, and even parts of it will quickly learn that the Qur'an is a self-correcting book because it has a very unusual rhythm that if you find a verse moves out of sync, suddenly you're aware, oh, I've, I've said something wrong. And I'll give you an example. A few, last week, I, I read the uh, Subah prayer, and it was, it was a rather long surah that I read. And at the end of it, um, I, I said a verse uh, that is actually out of the Qur'an, but it wasn't the verse that went in that place. And it used almost these same words. And that morning, probably for the next half hour, something was bothering me, and then I realized what it was. I said the verse wrong. And I, and I corrected myself. Nobody corrected me in the prayer, but I corrected myself. And it's very interesting when, when you memorize the Quran, because I've tried to memorize a lot of things. Like, you know, I used to uh, memorize some poetry. I went to prep school, and you had to memorize poems, and and uh, memorize like some piece of Shakespeare and things like that. The really interesting thing about it is, is that the, the Quran, one is facilitated, it's very easy to memorize. It's not hard to memorize for, for many, many people. And the other thing is, it's actually quite difficult uh, to forget it if you will recite it within reasonable time limits, repeat it every once in a while. It's very difficult to forget. But the Hafid, or the one who preserves the Quran, is somebody who has memorized it by rote. It usually takes about, in, in the Indian subcontinent, they'll do it between a year and a half to two and a half years. In Mauritania, they have more rigorous uh, standards for because they have other things to learn than just rote memorization. They usually take about four years doing it. And they do it when they're children. Um, the Arab, they say, memorization in youth is like carving in stone. And memorization in old age is like painting on water. <laughs> And one of the uh, scholars, they said, it's not that the memory is gone, it's that we've got too many worries when we get older. Children, you know, they don't have to worry, so it all just sticks there. Or as you get older, you, you're thinking about a lot of other things. So, but it's still phenomenal what we mem memorize. So during these 13 years, the Quran is being memorized this way. It's also being written by the few people who know how to write it. Because most of the Arabs were illiterate. And the Prophet Muhammad said in a sound transmission, he said, we are an illiterate people. We don't read and we don't calculate. So he was admitting that about his people. The Quran itself says, He's the one who sent amongst the illiterates a messenger. That he recites to them his signs. And he purifies them. And he teaches them the book and wisdom. Even if they were in clear error before that. So the, the Prophet is seen as a messenger first and foremost to the Arabs who are an illiterate people. Now, 